I Love Results Day is fast approaching and while it's exciting to think about your plan, today we're going to talk about why it's also super important to have a plan B. Now please don't let this video freak you out, we want to make the day as seamless as possible for you so you're not adding unnecessary burden on an already quite stressful day. So why is it important to have a plan B? Well sometimes things don't go exactly as we'd hoped but that's obviously okay. Having a plan B means you're ready for any outcome and can make swift and confident decisions no matter what the outcome is. It's all about keeping your options open and staying in control of your future. Now obviously I'm absolutely crossing everything for you hoping that next week is everything you could have hoped for but you might log into Hub on Results Day and you don't get the offers that you wanted. Now with a plan B you already have alternative options lined up so that's how you can keep moving forward. So here's a few reasons why having a plan B is a smart move. Number one, it reduces your stress. Knowing you have backup options is really gonna help with your anxiety on results day. It's already gonna be a chaotic and fast paced day. Everyone's gonna wanna know how you did. There's gonna be lots of people around collecting their grades too. And if you're like me, you probably aren't gonna sleep very well. So having an idea of what your next steps are away from the original plan will just take away that extra burden. Number two, it actually opens opportunities. You might discover courses or career paths that you hadn't even considered before. In this way, it could actually be a total blessing in disguise. Sometimes the most beautiful things come out of taking a different path. And then number three, it can keep you motivated. Having a plan B keeps you focused, even if things don't go exactly as planned. And actually, if you can deal with things like that rationally and in an organised way, despite the rush, you'll know you're ready to handle the deadlines of a university too. Now, moving on a little bit, let's also talk about some practical plan B options as well. Now this is one that I've already talked about and that's clearing. Universities update their clearing vacancies regularly, so research alternative courses in advance so you're ready to apply if needed. Look on their websites, look at university ratings, look to visit the uni if you can or watch YouTube tours and videos as there are loads. You can also watch the video from yesterday about clearing if you want to hear a little bit more about the specific process and why it's helpful to be flexible with that. Second, you've got a gap year. Consider taking a gap year to gain work experience, travel or retake exams. This can actually provide really valuable life experience and strengthen future applications. And then number three is different pathways. Explore apprenticeships, vocational courses or something else that might align with your interests and career goals. University isn't the only route. My brother, for example, is absolutely smashing it in engineering and his route was through an apprenticeship. Ultimately, preparation is key. So spend some time researching these alternatives and discussing them with your teachers, parents, or any career advisors. They can provide valuable insights and help you make informed decisions. Now, remember, having a plan B doesn't mean you're expecting to fail. It means you're proactive, it means you're resilient, and you're ready to tackle any challenge head on. These are skills that can shape your success in adulthood. So stay positive and view every option as an opportunity to learn and grow. So don't forget to have yourself a solid plan B. It's your safety net and a smart strategy to ensure that you stay on track no matter what. Good luck to all of you. You've worked incredibly hard. And whilst I hope you won't need these videos, your future is bright and full of possibilities. So stay positive, prepared and keep going.